Hello guys, welcome back to another video today. Today is my Premier League prediction. Um, so obviously, um, you can work out that I did go to the Southampton away game. Um, to be honest, I've seen the highlights of the Brighton game. Um, overall, I think a point was fair enough uh, away to Southampton. Um, Hopefully I should go to two games over the weekend, one being Brighton West Ham and the other one you have to keep it on my channel for. Um, obviously if I do go to the second one there will be a vlog on my channel so just keep it out for that. Um, so without any further ado let's go with my Premier League predictions for week 26. Guys subscribe for more, thanks for watching and let's go. So the first game I'm going to talk to you about is Burnley vs Man City at Turf Moor. Um, Man City just come on um, over a win 3-0 against West Brom. Uh, made it look quite easy. Um, now coming from a bright point of view that's not that nice to say considering they beat us uh, at their place 2-0. Um, and Burnley just coming over a one all with Newcastle. So for that one, obvious reasons, I'm going to Man City win. Uh, game number two is Bournemouth Stoke. Um, Stoke won yesterday. Stoke, uh, Bournemouth won yesterday. Excuse me. Um, and Stoke drew with Watford. Uh, I think purely because of the, what happened yesterday, I think I'm going to go um, a Bournemouth home win. If it's not a home win, I'll possibly say be a draw. I don't think Stoke are going to do that way that well at Bournemouth. Um, I think Brighton find it quite tough to play there anyway, so that's why I've gone with a Bournemouth home win. Second game which I'll be attending is Brighton West Ham. Um, now obviously we we won at West Ham earlier in the season with the 3-0 win. Um, made us look quite comfortable. Um West Ham just lost Iun. Um while I've had Andy Cole's injured West Ham fans, if I'm wrong, correct me in the comments. Um they're both clubbing two halves. Um so I'm just gonna tip Brighton off for home win. Um even though you're gonna say I'm a bright supporter, of course I've got to do that. That's not true. If I think I'm going to lose, I will say it. But because it's West Ham, covered two halves, I'll go and tip it off for a Brighton home win. The next game is Leicester Swansea. Now, this is going to be a pretty tough one. Swansea just beat Arsenal on Tuesday 3 1. Leicester, I think. Lost 2-1 to Everton. Um, can I see Swansea pulling off another shock? Mm, I don't think it's going to be um, as big as the Arsenal game. So for that, I'm going for a draw between Leicester and Swansea. The next game, now this is going to be an interesting one. Um, Man United versus Huddersfield, Old Trafford. Um, now, um, obviously Huddersfield beat Man United at the um, John Smith Stadium. Uh, I think it's back in September, November sort of time. Um, and obviously, not the yawns again. Um, and then obviously, 
won that game 2 0, and if I remember right, they made it look quite comfortable. Now, do I believe uh, Huddersfield could do under Theatre of Dreams? Yes, do I believe they will do it? No. So, for that one, I'm going to Man United home win. Even though I just lost 2 0 to Tottenham, Man United. But, that's, but even though I lost 2 0 to Tottenham, I'm still going to Man United home win. I think Jose Mourinho want to start getting that right, especially against the low league teams. Now West Brom have got Southampton at the Hawthorns. Um, West Brom are on the bit of an up. Southampton, yet again, the club we played Wednesday night um, still still covered two uh, two halves um, the crowd didn't like the final result they didn't like it at half time um, so for that one I'm gonna go a draw The next one is Arsenal Everton at the Emirates. Now this could be a tough call. Um, as I said, Arsenal Arsenal just um, lost to Swansea on Tuesday. Um, And Swansea made it look quite easy. No, uh, no, um, offence to Arsenal. I think even the Arsenal fans will agree with me a bit on that. Um, and Everton visiting his old team. Um, obviously, it's at Arsenal, so it's at. Uh, the club I think he spent 12 years as well so I think it's going to be quite quite hard for people like Fair Wilcott to go back there shortly after being sold to Everton so for that one I'll go for a draw now on to Sunday's games first one is Crystal Palace versus Newcastle at Southhurst Park. Um, now, obviously, a club like Newcastle still into us. Um, now, with Newcastle being in two halves. Um, I don't, don't think they sign. Oh no, it might sign one or two players in the window. But clubbing two half still. Not. I don't think the fans are that happy the way it's going at the minute. So for that one, sorry, Brighton fans, I'll go Palace home win. Um, the next one is Liverpool versus Tottenham. Um, now. This is another tough one. Um, obviously, Tottenham beating Man United at Wembley, um, and then you've also got me with Liverpool. Oh, oh, um, I know Liverpool won, but I can't remember who I beat. Liverpool fans, put it down in the comments below. Um, so for that one, I'm gonna go a Liverpool home win. Now the last game of the weekend is Watford Chelsea at Vicarage Road. Now for obvious reasons, I'm gonna go a Chelsea home win, even though they lost to Bournemouth in the midweek game for a nil at Stamford Bridge. Um, Watford drew with Stoke. Um, so for that reason, as I said, a Chelsea home win. 
Right guys, that's my predictions done. Guys, you know what to do. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching and ciao for now.